Okay, now we're going to talk about moving the decimal. I mentioned this earlier uh, on one of the slides previous about the decimal point. Now, the screen you're looking at right now is giving you an abbreviation of the, of the symbols. Anytime you see a letter, it basically means we're going to write in shorthand. Use micro, M is milli, a capital K is kilo for thousands, and a capital M is mega for a million. Anytime you see something after a number, it means it's in shorthand. You have to move the decimal. If you don't, if you don't see a letter, you read it as is. Now look at this screen. Let's read this screen. All the mobile electrical measurements come in all sizes. You may be looking for a small fraction of a volt or million ohms. So usually using prefixes to rearrange the numbers help you avoid writing values like 0 0.001 volts or 1 million ohms. Whether you see these prefixes and repair information are on your testing tool, you need to be familiar with their meanings. For example, if you got a voltmeter and that decimal moves and you're on a different scale, you need to know how to read it, especially on the ohm scale. This is especially important when you this is especially important when the units don't match. For example, if a sensor resistance specification is 800 ohms, but your meter reads 0.8k ohms. Remember the K is an abbreviation. It's on a thousand place. So you have to move the decimal three places from where it sits to the right. You need to know that they are the same value. Now let's look at the next slide. Look at this. Mega L million ohms, one million. Kilo, thousands. Milli, milli is one one thousandth of a, of a measurement. If I got, if I got, let me see, 200 millivolts, that's, that's 200 millivolts smaller than a volt. Micro is one one millionth smaller. So, so micro is one one millionth. And nano is not common, but it's one billionth of something, of a unit. Now here's a great example. My voltmeter is measuring 254M, capital M. That's the abbreviation number. Now what you're going to do, you have to imagine that the decimal is right here. You can't see it after the 4. Move it 6 places to the right like you see in the next under the whole numbers like you see here. Oh, oh my. Uh, oops. Messed that up. Trying to peel onto my tab here. Anyway, you, I didn't raise a slide. All right, so let me go back to what I was saying. So, 254M is 254, 254 million. You move the decimal six places. So, decimal is here. You move it six places. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, decimal is here. Six places to the right. Now 254K, you move it three places to the right. Now keep in mind the decimal is after the four. So K means kilo, three places to the right. So the decimal would have been here. One, two, three. 254,000 is the whole number. 254 with no letter at all. Leave it as it leave it as is and just read it. 254. Now this one gets a little trickier. 254 M, small M. Now you gotta move the decimal three places to the left. It's a small number. So now I'm reading two, sorry, 0 0.254. Three places to the left. So let's say that was a, a amp. That would be a, a little over two tenths of an amp. Or 254 milliamps. That's a whole number. I mean, now 254U, 
I'm going to use micro. So I'm going to place the micro is one of millions. So I'm going to decimal. If the decimal was here after the four, six places to the left. So I'll be. Uh, it was here, six places. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we'll be at point zero 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 two five. Let's say amps. Nobody's gonna read it like that. You might just say two and fifty four microamps. So this is how you use a decimal, and you and you will be asked a couple of questions on how to move that decimal and how to read it. Peace. I'm out.